Well, welcome back. Thanks for joining us for this week's Screenside Chat. I'm still Armando Fox. And I'm still Dave Patterson. Uh, so we have a couple of things that we wanted to mention this week. Um, one of the things I wanted to call your attention to is we have a series of interviews that I've done over the past year or two with prominent people in the SaaS software engineering world. Uh, they range from you know CTOs of companies, engineers, uh, people who work in operations, development. So we'll be trying to highlight some of these and insert pointers or insert the videos into the right places in the MOOC. But uh, if you're interested, if you want to see the whole series, you can also just go to the Vimeo website, vimeo.com, V-I-M-E-O. And if you just search for SAS TV, that's S-A-A-S TV, like your screen is showing right now, uh, you can actually just view all of them. And we're going to be adding some more uh, sometime during the next few weeks. I recently attended a conference and I had some really interesting conversations with people from the casual games industry, people who write uh, games for devices like the iPhone and tablets, and a really interesting exchange with a high-level technical person from Netflix talking about how they manage outages uh, in their huge software-as-a-service business. So uh, keep an eye out for the new SaaS TV episodes, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll mention new ones coming up in another screenside chat pretty soon. But we also like to keep you up to date with current events, and if you live in the United States, you can't avoid hearing about the problems of the software of the website for the Affordable Care Act, which is commonly known as Obamacare after the President of the United States. So they are talking about the terrible experiences users are going to have, and we couldn't help but wonder if the content of our course uh, has something to inform the condition of this sorry state of software. And so we've done a video, uh, Armando's just recorded that, that we're going to give you the link to, that you can go watch our conversation uh, to bring this up to date. It's not a 10 minute video, it's enough to talk about, it's quite a bit longer than that, but I'm pretty sure you'll find it really interesting. Yep, so that's uh, an example of keeping things current in terms of what's in the news. Uh, we also want to keep you current on what's happening in the technical press and in the technical news. And since one of the current topics in the course is uh, how software teams can be managed and doing code reviews and uh, other ideas that sort of came out of Agile and extreme programming and uh, have really been institutionalized, I wanted to plug a great article on a blog from Code Climate. Uh, code Climate is a relatively new site that we really like. Basically, it does code quality as a service. Uh, the way it works is they will check out your code from GitHub, with your permission, of course, and they'll run all kinds of different quality metrics on your code and give you a, a good sense of uh, what shape your code is in. Is it good quality? Are you avoiding bad habits? Uh, and so on. And uh, they also have a technical blog aimed at developers uh, like you all, and a recent entry is about the value of code reviews. What are all the different reasons to do code reviews? So you'd think part of it is to make sure the code is good, but it turns out that equally important reasons are for other developers to stay up to date with the code, uh, for onboarding new people in the organization who are just coming into the code base. So again, some of the ideas that we've mentioned as benefits of code review, but put into uh, kind of a very real world perspective by practitioners who actually do this stuff. So the URL is on your screen. Uh, check out the Code Climate blog. And for those of you who are going to take 169.2x, we'll talk more about Code Climate there and we'll encourage people to use it for their own software projects. Uh, and by the way, we have no connection to Code Climate. We just think it's a neat site. Yeah, we're, we're not paid uh, endorsers of the site. We, we just like it. Uh, so that is this week's uh, Screenside Chat. Check out SAS TV. Uh, if you are interested, check out our video reporting on what we've learned about the software failures behind the website for the Affordable Care Act. And check out Code Climate and uh, you know, keep immersing yourself in this culture of Ruby and Rails programmers who really value beautiful code. That's a big part of what the course is about. So thanks a lot for sticking with us, and we'll see you again next week. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.